morning, YouTube. Man, I like it. Didn't even, I mean, my hair actually looks good, but it's because you can't see it all. Um, I just made a video in the dark. I looked really terrible. Bad talking about how men don't want to have sex. And I'm going, God, no wonder they didn't want to have sex. Look at me. So let me just make myself look a little bit different. Look now, look. If you're in love, like I know, I know my dad. I know I got my dad face stuck right to my head. I get it, man. I get it. But when I put lipstick on, you get, I look like a dude in drag. All right, look now, now. If if you were falling in love with me and I was like, come on, blah blah, blah would you be like, no, no, babe, we don't we don't have to have so we don't have to have sex all the time. We don't have to have sex all the time. What? What did you? What? Why? Why do I want to make love to you in the beginning of a hot relationship? And they turn you down. Ladies, these dudes that suck you into the bed and get it all get it all going on nice and good and everything, and then they tell you like three, four days later, you're, you're still with them. You're still there. You're still in their bed. And you're like, yo, dude, what's up? You know? And they're like, they just grab your hand and pull it away. And they're just like, we don't always have to have sex, do we? Get up, get dressed, grab every one of your belongings, block his number. If you can get into his phone, take your number out of it. <laughs> Leave. Do not answer his calls. Do not answer his texts. Do not answer shit. If you were in the honeymoon phase of a relationship and this man basically tells you he's not interested in having sex with you, I promise you that that will be the rest of your life with this person or the rest of the relationship. They will meet out sex to you in a way that makes winds up having you feel like some kind of freak when all you want is normal interactions. And I mean, there's so much chemistry between the two of you, right? You thought I wound up marrying two like that in a row the first one was the opposite he was so addicted to sex that i literally could not have accommodated him if i had been addicted to sex i mean it was it was utterly ridiculous the second and then so the second one when he was just like we don't know i was just like yeah okay uh, but oh but ooh, it, it worked on my mind he this man broke me mentally and i was broken for years I was still his buddy and all that. I just didn't have any idea the the control. I, I had just moved. He he lost me as gold supply as a wife, but he kept me as that supply until I finally, I, when I moved away, that's when all hell broke loose um, last year. But, um, yeah, he didn't want it either because you know, I was just a slut and a whore. And then the third one, same thing. I should have, I should have, that, that, that few days into it with that third one, when I was laying in the bed with him, you know, and I'm trying to cuddle up to him and trying to get, you know, get busy with it. And he was just like, immediately, why did I not know what I was seeing? I didn't. I wound up married to him for two years. Anyway, and then I was told I was going to all kinds of hells and uh, everlasting hells for, for leaving this wonderful man. Both of them are gay as $3 bills. They have to be. They gotta be. Anyway, um... Narcissists don't have, I mean, they might have a sexual preference, but they don't stick with it if they don't, I mean, if they can get supply from somebody of the same sex and they're straight, they'll do it. They don't give a shit. I just want you to know that too. Um, they have, they couldn't care less. Um, I'm certain of that. Uh, bio mom is one. My, um, my brief phone relationship that I never met my brothers, my brief phone relationship revealed that she had a series of men but the best partner she ever had was a woman who loved them very much, the brothers, my brothers, and that as soon as my bio mom realized that, she broke it off with her and left her in the dirt. And they said that was the best time and the best life they ever had was the brief time that my bio mom spent as a lover with this woman. She's not gay. Well, yeah, she is. She's everything. She's a nothing and everything. It doesn't matter to them. They will do whatever it takes to get what they need. All right. If they don't want to get busy with you and you're in love with them, you're in love with the figment of your imagination, get out. Don't let them touch your body anymore. You are, 
you're throwing yourself in a toilet with these people in a garbage can. They're disgusting pigs. If they turn you down any way other than saying, I am so sorry, babe. I would love to, but I just can't. I really want to get with you. Can I, can I help? Can I help you? I have other body parts other than my wiener. If they say anything other than that, run! If they act like you are some kind of sex freak or some kind of slut and a whore, get the fuck out of there. Fuck these dudes. Tell them they need to go MGTOW. And tell them when you're an incel, you're just a... Don't, because you're a liar. Incels are liars. There is no such thing as involuntarily celibate today. There is no such thing. There are people that want to have sex with you, you creepy dudes. You just want supermodels. And because they don't want you, you're suddenly involuntarily celibate. No, you're not. You're just... You're just a fag in disguise. You're just... You women want me. That's because you're a dick rider, okay? There's plenty of sluts that would want to be with you. But you don't want sluts. You want a supermodel. Well, they it's not going to happen, dude. So stop calling yourself an incel and just go away. Golly, bless America, man.